Former NFL player Sergio Brown is in jail right now after being accused of killing his mother. A judge in Maywood denied him bond in his first court appearance today. WGN's Brona Tumulty is joining us now from the courthouse with details. Good evening, guys. Viewers may know Sergio Brown as a former NFL player who had stints with the Patriots, the Colts, the Bills and the Jaguars. And today he was a shadow of his former self in court, now charged with first degree murder. 35-year-old former pro footballer Sergio Brown stood in a courtroom in Maywood today, dressed in a cream sweater, red shorts, grey socks and black sandals. He looked thin, dishevelled and utterly confused about why he was before a judge. The victim was last seen alive on or around 6 p.m. on September 14, 2023 at her home. He's accused of murdering his mother, 73-year-old Myrtle Simmons Brown, and then concealing her body, which was found wrapped in a sheet in tall grass, about 150 feet from the home the two shared. Her other son became concerned about his mother when she stopped responding to text messages on the 14th of September, the gruesome discovery made two days later when the property was searched. And officers noticed blood on the, black, on the back patio. During the search, we're told a bathtub had also seemingly been recently cleaned, while cameras in the area were reportedly rolling as Brown allegedly burned items in a fire pit on the 14th. Police later found burnt fabric in this same fire pit. Court documents also revealing today Brown purchased a one-way ticket to Cancun on September 15th at 3 in the morning, from which he allegedly posted cryptic videos on social media. Fake news. Authorities say he also took some of his mother's belongings with him, including her iPad and credit cards, on which he made a number of large purchases, including one totaling almost $2,000 for an Airbnb in Medellin, Colombia. But he never made it there. On October 7th, Mexican authorities detained the offender in Mexico, and he was deported to San Diego, California. From there, he was brought back to Illinois, with authorities saying DNA found under the fingernails of the victim also matches that of their suspect. Again, no bond today for Brown in court. His next court date is the 22nd of November. We're in Maywood, Rona Tumulty, WGN News.